Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. So in today's video, we're going to try using gilding flakes on vellum. So I've got a piece of vellum from Alina Crafts and I've got this beautiful sunflower stamp, which you've seen me use in a previous video using gilding flakes. I think you need a good detailed solid stamp uh, when you're using gilding flakes if you really want, the get, want to get the best effect. So I'm just attaching it to an acrylic block and I've got the indigo blue flitter glue. Uh, of course, you can use any tacky glue when using gilding flakes. Um, and there's lots of different products out there on the market that you could use. But this is what I've got. So I'm just adding some to a sponge. Uh, this is a piece of uh, what indigo blue called fat foam. Um, and basically, we're going to turn this into an ink pad, but with the glue. So I'm just going to push it in with my palette knife. This is just a, a cheap plastic palette knife and I'm just pushing it into the sponge, making sure that it's nicely absorbed, ready to use as a stamping block, basically. These are the gilding flakes that I'm going to be using today. They're the Mega Flake Autumn Blaze uh, set from Indigo Blue. And I'm just going to now stamp up the image using that sponge that we've created. And I'm just going to make sure that I get a really good coverage all over the sunflower. Now it's not clear to the camera, but if you look at the stamp uh, with the with your natural eye, you can see where the glue is on the stamp. So it's really easy to see which areas you've missed, um, especially if you want to get a really good coverage and you're not, you know, you don't want to miss any areas. Once I've inked that up with the glue, I'm then just going to stamp it down on the piece of vellum. I've put a piece of scrap cardstock underneath it, uh, just so that I've got that ready for when we start to use the gilding flakes. So I'm just going to make sure we've got really good pressure. Now you can be a little bit slower on vellum because it's a type of plastic, the stamp doesn't stick to it. But there you can see all the lovely stamped detailed image. I have missed one or two areas but I'm not worried about that for this technique. So I'm going to pick out some of the different coloured flakes and I'm just going to use, well try and use some darker flakes for the centre and some lighter flakes for the petals of the flower. And I'm just going to rub those all in with my finger and make sure that we've got a nice good coverage. Again, there are lots of different gilding flakes on the market. I know that you can get some by Nuvo. Uh, Cosmic Shimmer also have a really good range of gilding flakes. And then Indigo Blue. Indigo Blue are the only flakes that I've actually tried. Uh, but I'm sure that all the other products on the market work exactly the same way. I think Indigo Blue pride themselves on their flakes being slightly larger, uh, so it's a lot easier to get a good coverage. But yeah, whatever you've got in your stash will work fine for this technique. Um, of course, if you don't have gilding flakes and you're not really looking to expand into another medium in your craft making, of course, using embossing powder on vellum is equally stunning. Uh, you just get a slightly different result with your gilding flakes. Um, and all the techniques that you do with gilding flakes, um, you can really do with embossing powder. So yeah, it depends what finish you want and what you've got in your stash really. This is just a way of using another product, getting a slightly different effect. Uh, you do get more texture with gilding flakes. So yeah. All I'm doing now is I'm just, I've run over it with my fingers and I'm just using the scoochie sponge now to get off the excess flakes. That's just an abrasive sponge. Um, and it just removes the excess without scratching the vellum or cardstock or whatever you're using gilding flakes on. I'd moistened a bit of kitchen roll there and I've just wiped over the vellum to get off any excess dust. And then you're left with this beautiful shimmery sunflower. So I've got a piece of cardstock that I've cut to five and a half inches squared and this is going to be my card front. And I'm just going to line up the vellum on that front there so that we've got even an even white border to the left and right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fold around those top parts uh, to the back of the card panel and I'm going to attach that down with some double sided tape. I'm using red line tape here because I know that it really gives a good strong hold and I'm trimming that with my long bladed Tim Holtz scissors only because my smaller scissors are gunked up from foam tape so <laughs> I need to give them a clean basically. So I'm just going to line that up on the front and then I'm just going to tuck those bits behind it um, I was kind of looking at which way around I wanted the sunflower to go and then I realised it really didn't matter because I could turn the card front around once I'd stuck it down. So I'm just going to peel off the backing tape for the red line tape and just attach that down. Next, I'm going to add some black strips of cardstock down the side of the panel. I went through a few of the colours of strips that I've got in a jar on my desk and decided that 
I think black was the best way to go. The golds that I had and the oranges that I had just weren't quite the right match for the gilding flakes. Of course, I could have made strips of cardstock using the gilding flakes uh, if I wanted to, uh, but I decided that the black just gave it a little bit more of a classy look when it was finished. So I'm just going to add some red line tape to the back of those. And then once I've done that, I will peel off the backing tape and attach those down to the vellum. I line it up against the vellum and the white card panel just so that um, some of the tape catches the card and the vellum so that it keeps the vellum nice and flat on the card front. Um, of course, you could have added double sided tape to the back of the vellum if you wanted it to sit flush on the card, but it adds a nice little bit of texture when it's slightly raised. Once I've stuck the strips down, I'm just going to use my long bladed scissors just to trim any excess off from the back. It's always a good idea to trim from behind because you get a much uh, neater finish. Uh, I don't know why that is. I think it's just the way that the you're able to get close to the cardstock and get a nice neat finish. I've got this strip back sentiment set from Funky Fossil Designs and I've already got a load of pre-stamped and cut sentiments that I keep in the back of that stamp set. Um, I do decide to go with a black uh, piece of cardstock with the white embossed sentiment on and I'm just working out which sentiment I want to use and where I want the placement to be. Once I've decided uh, to use this Get Well Soon one, I'm going to add a little bit of foam tape to the back of it uh, just to add a little bit of dimension and then we'll pop that on to the bottom right hand corner. Once that's stuck down, I've then got these clear Dew drops from Alina Crafts and I'm just going to add a few of those to the card front. I'm sorry that the top of the card is slightly off camera but I do bring it back into shot in a moment. Um, I'm using the Cosmic Shimmer Quick Grab Glue at the moment and um, yeah I was trying out the new bottle which um, is a lot better than the old style bottle but it does still get clogged uh, far more than my Nouveau Deluxe glue does so yeah, I think once I've finished with the Cosmic Shimmer, if I can get my hands on the Nouveau glue, I will do. Um, but yeah, anyway, I've brought in a card blank uh, that's just under six by six. It's a shop uh, bought card blank. So I think it measures about five and five eighths squared. And I've got some foam tape from Craft Stash. And I'm just going to trim that down to create some really wonky extra large foam pads for the back of this uh, card front. But remember, no one sees the back of a card. So yeah. I'm just going to peel off the backing tape there and attach that down to the front of the card panel. And so there is the finished card for today. I'm going to add a few close-up photos at the end of this video, but you can see all that gorgeous shine and texture that you get from the gilding flakes. So yeah, it works really well um, using gilding flakes on vellum. So I really hope that you've enjoyed this video. As always, I'll leave as many products linked in the description box below. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments below if you've tried using gilding flakes on vellum. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.